Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Wet n Wild Wild Heart eyeshadow look to share with you guys. Today I was going for like a smoky purple but vampy vibes as well. Some of the clips are missing from this video. I'm not really entirely sure what happened. I pieced it together the best that I could. This is look number 24 that I'm sharing with you and I'm very pleased with how it looks and I hope you guys will enjoy this look as well. And there'll be a playlist and product list and all that stuff in the description box below. I'm using the Profusion eyeshadow primer and the Hard Candy Chilling Wonder Powder under the eyes to catch any fallout I might have. So from the second row, the sixth eyeshadow is just this matte, pretty pink. And it kind of looks like it's going to be a mauve pink in the pan, but it applies like a bright pink. And I'm just going to apply this with a blending, a fluffy blending brush in the crease. Next up, in the last row, this eyeshadow, it's a dark matte purple shade. I've almost wore the hearts out of this shade. Some of the shades in the palette, because I've used this so much in tutorials, because this is number 24, and also in like real everyday life makeup looks, I've almost hit pan on some of these shades. It's, it's a great palette. You can still find this at some Walmarts, Walgreens, and wetandwildbeauty.com. I believe is what it's called. It might just be wetandwild.com or wetandwildcosmetics. I'm not entirely sure, but I applied that in the outer corner and in the crease as well. And the pink is just acting as a transition shade, which is going to be peeking out from the purple. And in that last row, I'm taking the shimmery grape purple. And I use the Hard Candy Primer Spray to spritz my brush and use that. If you didn't know this, if you have this palette, you can use these eyeshadows wet or dry. The shimmery shades apply so beautifully wet. I'm using in the third row this shimmery purpley pink shade. It looks like a shimmery light purple shade, but it applies like a shimmery pink. And I'm applying that in the inner portion of the lid there. This is they blend together so nicely. This is such a beautiful look in my opinion if you like purple and pink. And I did like a vampy style lip to tie it in together to make it more vampy. And I just love how this came out. <laughs> I love it. So I'm just blending that, adding more color where it's needed. And there is a little patchy spot there. I did get the brush too wet, I believe. And so that was my fault. I'm using the matte white from the palette. And I'm going to apply this on the brow. I'm going to use this to blend down the shades. And you will also see me go back in with the pink shade. And kind of use that to blend with the white. And it all becomes this seamless fade from the brow down to the lid and I'm here for it. It's so pretty. Wiping away any fallout that I might have had and I'm going to be flaking the matte pink and applying that on my lower lash line. But once that's done, I'm going to be picking up this icy white and it's in the second row first shade. And I'm just applying that in the inner corner. I did spray this with water, but off camera. And uh, I just spritz my brush and then I dip it in the shadow. AOA Studios A Plus Lash Adhesive. I'm going to try Miss Veronica's lash, um, the way she applies her lashes. So I'm applying my lash glue directly like a strip of liner. And the lashes I'm using are from Shein and they are Fluffy Cat Eye Lashes. And they're gorgeous. Highly recommend them. I'm obsessed with these. So you want to wait until your lash glue dries almost complete, like pretty much clear. Like you can't see it anymore. And then apply your lash. And oh my gosh, these lashes did not budge or anything. Like, I don't know. Like, thank you, Miss Veronica. <laughs> this is a new way of applying lashes for me. It's amazing. And the Ioni Mascara to mesh my real lashes with the false lashes. And here I'm just doting on how amazing these lashes look. And they're gorgeous. Even on hooded eyes. These um, lip products here are liquid matte lipsticks. And they're from Timu. And I use shade 3 and number 6. And they're like called Lang Manny 
um, lip kit, something along the lines of that. I will have that in the description box. And that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am obsessed with how this came out. It's so pretty in my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial today, found it helpful, and will try the look out for yourselves. I thank you guys so very much for watching, and don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell if you haven't already. Don't forget to check the description box and the cards for additional links as well as a product list. And stay tuned for more Wet and Wild, Wild Heart makeup looks.